Hi, this is Juliet here, <laughs> and uh, I was trying to make a live video up at the top, right up, right at the top, and um, it wasn't working as far as I could see, or you might have got a bit of video from me. But uh, anyway, here I am. I suddenly found, I've gone into the shadow, the, uh, the uh, clouds have gone across the sun, so it's shadowed the phone so I can see. So I just want to share with you this beautiful landscape. And if you didn't hear the video I was trying to make before, well, here we are. Or maybe you heard it and you couldn't figure out what it was all about. But anyway, this seems like it's working now. So I've been climbing for hours, walking for hours, all the way up, all the way up. It was quite a, a very long, arduous walk up, 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 further than this. And now the sun's coming, so I won't be able to see I know that I'm live now at this point, I think. So, anyway, so how are you today? I hope everything's, uh, yeah, I hope you're well. I hope you, everything's going all right for you and your life's not too stressful. See, the sun's come out and it's really, really bright. So, I had the opportunity today to do this amazing walk and decided I just wanted to do a little bit Facebook live with you and share because it's so important to get out of your comfort zone just make sure I haven't dropped my gloves yeah so easy to lose one's gloves out of one's comfort zone and um, if we can do that then things you know we have new ideas come to us and it's more exciting and, and the uh, more energy comes because it can feel really stressful down, shut down and like there's no way to take one's life forward so that's how it feels to me it might be a different experience for you anyway and the wind's coming so just showing you the view yeah so I took the opportunity to walk up here today and it's taken me a few hours and it's really really steep walking up quite tiring wasn't sure if I would get to the top whether I'd give up before I got to the top but I didn't, I kept going, which was amazing. And uh, it's so beautiful and peaceful here. And it's been very cold. There's a lot of ice around. And the streams are just thawing out. It's a little stream. saw some amazing icicles. So if you didn't hear what I was saying previously, if my video wasn't working, I was just talking about that we seem to be in this evolutionary pressure cooker at the moment. And it's a really, really exciting time to grow if we can cope with the pressure and we have to resource ourselves the same time as being squeezed in the way that we are to resource ourselves as best as possible by doing things that support us and to give us the opportunity to clear our minds and to be able to have some thought about things, some real thought and not just kind of reactive behaviour because we've been polarised to fall out with each other and uh, we don't, none of us need to fall out we need to really take care of our connections and, and really support each other. And we've been put into such a state of fear that we're beginning to believe things that are absolutely with a rational mind that you would think are absolutely crazy, absolutely incredulous. So here's another little stream down here. And there are icicles. Let me see if I can show you these icicles. There's icicles hanging from the rocks there. Yeah. I mean, one of, some of the things we've been taught to believe is that when you put poison in your body, it makes you better. But that's just not true. It can't be true. It's against life. It's against nature. So poisoning things don't make them better. Poisoning things make them worse. And... Um, 
let any one of the things that's in the mainstream media, if you listen at the moment, you examine it, it is absolutely quite insane. And I find it really stressful even listening to it, so I don't want to listen. So I want to get out into nature, have good connections with people, have the opportunity to really deeply connect with myself because we need to take this forward into a new way of being. We have to find a new way forward for humanity. And we don't have to solve it for the whole of humanity, but just for ourselves. It's like, what can we do in our own lives to make a difference? To live our lives in a way that's happier and we're free from fear. And we're not influenced by all this kind of propaganda that's making us all fearful all the time. How can we move away from that? Because there isn't actually anything to be fearful of. There's only things to be excited about comes down to it. So we're immensely creative humanity, human beings, when we're not kind of shut down into a fear state. So what is it that you do that you've been wanting to do for a long time, that you've kind of had on the back burner because you've been trying to live this kind of lifestyle that we're kind of conditioned into? If you weren't doing that, what would you be doing? Yeah? What would you be doing right now? How would you like to change your life into doing something that is really amazing and creative and wonderful? What's the gift that you have inside you? So, just wondering if we can reflect on that together. I'm just going to leave the road and walk across to this rock and sit on this rock. It's a bit windy here. So I'm just going to sit here for a minute. So yeah, just imagining. Imagining yourself. Hi Lynn. Imagining yourself now in this moment that you're here sitting on this rock with me. Seeing this beautiful landscape. And there's an opportunity just to be still for a moment. And just really feel the landscape around you. It's beautiful. Beautiful landscape. And you can see the clouds, the shadows of the clouds on the grass. You can hear the water. You can hear the wind. I hope it's not too windy to block the microphone. But just taking a moment to tune into yourself. You are a, a unique being. There's no one else like you in the whole, whole world. There's no one like you in the whole of creation. So just ponder on that for a moment. What an amazing being you are. And just ponder on what the incredible gifts are that you have. Maybe you haven't valued them. Maybe you haven't seen them. Maybe you've been trying to fit into an image of something that's not you. Maybe you haven't felt safe in your connections and your relationships to really get a re reflection back of who you really are. So just tuning into yourself in this moment tuning in to what really moves you in your life. What is it that really wakes you up in your life? That's really special. What draws your heart into a connection? Creating things, cookery, studying.
Indian snow crystals. Ceremonies. What special thing is it that you like to do for yourself? Playing with children. Being in nature. Being with animals. Yeah, we all have something that really makes our heart light up. So just taking a breath and a long out breath in this moment. And just thinking about what fills you with love. Just really lifting your vibration into that feeling of appreciation and love for who you are, for your gifts, or someone that you love. Appreciation for them or appreciation for something that you like to do. Or this landscape in this moment. I really love being in wild places. I love the wilderness. I love people. I love being with people. I love being on my own. Just allowing your vibrations to lift in this moment, whatever might have been stressing you, just setting that aside. Because that's not the reality. The reality is that you are a divine being and that you're here on this earth to create, to build, to express your soul essence, to play, that's the reality. So just taking a breath into that, into the stillness in this moment with me, and knowing that you're really special. And just taking an opportunity every day just to find somewhere where you can be still and to tune into yourself and lift your vibration into the vibration of love, appreciation, gratitude. And just feeling where in your body you're comfortable. Feeling that state of well-being in yourself. Whatever is going on, just noticing where that is in your body. Feeling of comfort and well-being. All is well in this moment. All is well. for all 
that I am and all that I have been and all that I ever will be. I give thanks for my life here on planet Earth. I give thanks for my friends. I give thanks for the beauty. I give thanks for the sanctity of all life. All life is sacred. I give thanks for truth. I give thanks for the light. I give thanks for the support to help me move towards the light. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Have a blessed day.